My name is Betsy Bird. I'm the Collection Development Manager of Evanston Public Library. I run a blog on School Library Journal called the Fuse Number 8 Production, and today I am going to tell you my favorite translated picture books of 2020 and 2021, and I only have five minutes to do it, so let's do this thing. What could I possibly begin with that would be an appropriate book to begin? Oh, I don't know. Perhaps it should be a book that uh, comes from China and was written by a Hans Christian Andersen winner and illustrated by a Hans Christian Andersen winner. Yeah, Lemon Butterfly is a fantastic book. Basically, it's this dreamlike story of this little butterfly that's attempting to find the flowers. It goes through these beautiful, strange, gorgeous images. It changes color. The backgrounds are evocative. Uh, its journey really changes. At one point, it finds a horse that smells like flowers. When it finally gets to where it thinks the flowers are, everything is underwater. It is a journey. It is a story. It is a transformation. It is one of the loveliest translations that we've actually seen in a long time. So you're going to have to check this one out. But let's go all around the world. I don't want to stay on one continent, so what about Brazil? Well, From My Window by Octavia Jr. This is a fantastic COVID book. I'm just going to say it. It's a COVID book. It's about a guy looking out his window, seeing the world out through his window, everything that's going on. Admittedly, it's not entirely a COVID book because there are people out there doing stuff. But for anyone who's been trapped inside for a very long time, this is though this doesn't feel claustrophobic. It's a loving look at a neighborhood um, from a vantage point. And all the good and all the bad. And it's got some fantastic back matter you have to check out from my window. Let's now jump all the way to Norway. And from Norway is this clever little book. Everybody counts. It's a counting story from 1 to 7.5 billion. Now, in this book, basically what you have is it seems like a pretty normal counting book, right? Um, it's here's seven, seven people in a police lineup. Four of them have never done anything wrong. All of them are scared they'll be singled out. It goes through a story through your basic counting ideas. So this is the book that you actually read to kids when they feel like they're too old for uh, for counting books. It's funny and it's strange and it's mysterious. Over here, we have a book from France. This is Thank You, Mayuki. This is a book about meditation and it's about wakefulness. It's about being connected to the world, but at the same time, it is about a squirmy little child who has a hard time sitting still while her grandfather wants to stop and smell the flowers once in a while. It is a great book that both acknowledges paying attention to your breath and the fact that small children are wiggly. From the Dutch, Little Fox, a beautiful book that combines both photography and illustration. It's a story of a fox. It's a little one who has an accident and basically looks to the story of its entire life. The end papers alone are worth the price of admission. Many of these images are sort of superimposed on beautiful backgrounds of photography. It is evocative, pretty, strange, surreal, everything you might want in a book. And then from Sweden, we have The Stone Giant, a fable that feels very Maurice Sendak-esque in its way. It's about a story about a girl who must go off and rescue her father from a giant, as well as everyone else in the kingdom. The best, most beautiful books sometimes come from Japan. Every Color of Light. If you pick no other book that I am discussing today, you must see this book. Written beautifully, illustrated lovingly, so gorgeous. Another book that reminded me a lot of the COVID era in which we live, I Dream of a Journey by Akiko Mayakoshi. This is a story of a hotel owner who wants to travel the world but feels sort of stuck in their hotel and just sort of imagines the places they might go. Look at that art. And of course, I cannot talk about Japan without my favorite, favorite author illustrator from there. Um, that would be Shinsuke Yoshitaki. These books are surreal, funny, strange. There must be more than that. And I can be anything. Never go in the direction that you need them to go. And then from this year, and I won't even talk about them that much, but I just want to mention it could be worse from Israel. 
we uh this is the uh dragon we <laughs> where is the dragon by leo timmers that one is belgian sato the rabbit which is japanese and finally from germany einstein that one's by torben kuhlman it's very fun